Hello, I'm Kieran Harris, founder and creative director here at Great British Tents. Unfortunately, all great things must come to an end. The wedding is finished, the party is over, and now we've come to take down the bell tent. But how exactly do we do that, I hear you ask? Let me show you. Now, obviously, this is straight off the back of the how to set up a bell tent. So nobody's actually stayed in it, but we're still going to walk you through the processes of how we take down our bell tent internals. So what I like to do first is just get all the ornaments onto the table, ready to get packed away. Straight into the crate. So crate is going to be upright, ready for the bits to go in that. As I mentioned in the following video, I know that all my bags and stuff are going to be in here, so they can come out straight away. So all ornaments, as neatly as possible, packed away into the upright crate. Test light, still works, goes in the crate. If it doesn't, go separately to get swapped over at a later date. Very important, change the motion at people's weddings, make sure that is put away back in the crate. So very tempting, I'm putting stuff outside, just to pack everything up on top of each other. All that's going to happen is when someone comes to put it on the van, is they have to take everything off the table which goes on first. So when putting stuff outside, put it separately but nice and neatly first. Uh, grab your broom, sweep all the stuff off the rug onto your ground sheet so it's nice and clean, ready for the next guest. And we're going to sweep the ground sheet in a minute, so just put it straight onto there. Folding away the rug, fold it about three quarters, make sure it's nice and square nice and tight so it fits in the van, it fits in the racking. You don't want to roll it up but it's ending up like a pencil so you will get a little bit of average. That's why we do three quarters so that bit will just flap down. Next we're going to strip the bed. As mentioned earlier we know that everything I need to take down the bell tent is in the canvas bag so I'm going to strip the bed. I try not to handle anything twice so, linen to one side, pillow straight in the bag. So there should be two firm ones on top, two soft ones underneath. So the linen gets perfectly laundered, but that is all going to get put into a big Amazon bag as I call them, and taken to the laundrettes uh, after the job. Um, as mentioned earlier, no one's actually stepped in this tent, it's just an example. So I'm going to fold it up neatly at the end of this and uh, use it tomorrow. Okay, next obviously, duvet. We've buttoned up. Undo the buttons. So, as mentioned, try right, just to, by handling something, I just want to put it away straight away. I don't want to put it on the floor, do something else, pick it up later. I'm trying to keep my area as tidy as possible. So, straight in the bag. Neatly placed outside, so hopefully someone will be moving to the van. Cover up all the linen. And there'll be someone collecting that, ready to go be professionally laundered. Don't leave it on the table, like I said. Big bulky stuff tends to go on the van first, which is usually the last thing to come out. So, again, yeah, dumping loads of stuff on top of it. 
So JB bed, mattress comes off the top, underneath the feet, feet close in, rub that in. JB on floor, and then I would put the foot on mattress on top of the JB, just put the JB being covered in grass, mud, condensation. So I'm going to leave it nice and tidy for the setup. So these bags are going to go outside ready for the take down. So when I'm sweeping out, really get into the corners. This is where all the dust, dust ties, little midges. Fortunately, you are still camping. You will get bugs. Move the centre pole. There's a lot of dirt. Accumulate there. The internals are out. Now we're going to take down the externals. So one thing comes down first. Don't worry about trying to get all that straight because all that happens is going to blow around in the wind anyway. But we do want to keep the bumping flat and as straight as possible. On the setup, we should have had two pegs left. So you can put that away straight away. Loving your place on floor. That's possible, peg the bunting so it stays together and we can count it in and out of the stock and put it away nicely. All the little bits and pieces, light, separate, stick in, separate the number from the shepherd's crook. Place the map with that so someone can go around and just collect all the externals together. <laughs> 